Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of VGC Prep. I believe we're on number 13. I can't be sure because numbers always evade me. I can look it up right now, but I don't really feel... Well, I'm actually already doing it. Um, so, we're using the same team. Uh, no differences. Uh, we did, I know we don't really use the... Um, whatchamacallits? Uh, the rules that Ovation uses. Um, the reason for that is because I'm honestly not very VGC, um, this is my first VGC I'm ever going to, and, um, I haven't really done this very, very much, so, I'm using this team because I'm the most comfortable with it, um, unfortunately, the time I battle, like, right now it's, um, 12.31 on a Saturday, most of America in my time is usually pretty up at right right now, um, but most of the battles we're going to be having are from Japan, and their metagame is very different. Now, what we're looking at right now is, I think I saw it was from Japan, I wasn't really sure, and I wasn't really paying attention, I was more looking up the videos um, for what I was going to say before, but um, he's got the Dragonite, the Kangaskhan, the Politoed, the uh, Rotom Heat, Kingdra and Ferrothorn. Now, his Politoed's gonna be bringing the rain, and so is and his uh, Kingdra's gonna really like the rain. So, our Tyranitar's slower, so I'm gonna bring our Tyranitar. Now, we need to bring Garchomp, uh, we need to bring Ferrothorn for the Kangaskhan, and we need to bring uh, Chandelier for the Ferrothorn. Um, I don't think we have, honestly, better choices. Uh, Shuckle and Aromatisse aren't really doing super effective damage otherwise to the Dragonite. So there's not much we have to worry about. We've got that 10 seconds left, pretty much. So let's get going. We're placing, facing 8RX06. Weird name, but <laughs> we'll get through it. It's only been, what, two minutes now? Sweet. So let's get going with this. So we go first, so, I mean, okay, so a lot of people are spreading the rumor that if you go first, you're the fastest. Now, there was one time where I was definitely the slowest and I still went first, so I'm not really sure if that rumor's true, um, but looking on his side of the field, we are the fastest, so who knows. Um, so he has got, he's got the polito Politoed, not in the rain right now. Um, and he's got the Kangaskhan. Now, the real question right now is, is that Kangaskhan going to go for that fake out? Uh, I'm pretty sure it might, but I'm not going to make the mistake where I do, where I protect with Tyranitar and they fake out my Garchomp. So I'm actually going to go do, I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse on the Kangaskhan and the Rock Slide. Now, the Rock Slide seems a little bit bizarre. But with the Sand Force boost, it's going to do enough damage, and we might get that flinch. Um, I just actually realized we're not, we're still not uh, Rocky Helmet Roughskin. So if he does end up faking out, then <laughs> we're kind of in a pickle. But um, let's see what happens. Uh, we might do pretty well, we might not. Kangaskhan's still a pretty difficult thing to- what? Wow, okay. Choice Scarf Politoed. At least we now know. And what? Okay, Power Up Punch. With the Chapel Berry, it's not going to do very much, but <laughs> unfortunately, it's going to do enough. <laughs> so, this Politoed is Choice Scarf into Ice Beam. So, our best move is to bring a Ferrothorn in over there. I think I brought Ferrothorn. I'm usually, I usually forget what we bring. <laughs> so, Dark Pulse does a reasonable amount of damage. So I'm not too worried. Now, I kind of think he's going to go for that uh, power-up punch again. Because honestly, why else wouldn't he go for it? Um, there's no point in going for the... He, well, he can't go for the Hydro Pump because he's totally stuck in the Ice Beam right now. So I'm going to switch in my Chandelure. Um, either way, nothing he's going to do is going to really hurt me. I have Air Balloon, so if he goes for the... Um, if he goes for the Earthquake, it's not going to affect me. If he goes for the um, Power Punch, it's not going to affect me. If he goes for the Return, it's not going to affect me. And if he goes for the Sucker Punch, it's not going to affect me. 
So, Chandelure is the best switch in. I already chose that. Now, I'm deciding, is Leech Seed the best mo move, or is Power Whip? I think Leech Seed might be the best for this Kangaskhan. Um, the Politoed's gonna be going out, because Choice Scarf Ice Beam is really not gonna be doing much to anything that I have out on the field. He stays in! Why would you stay in? Yeah, dude, really? Oh my god. That was the weirdest play I've ever seen. The power punch I predicted. But that ice beam? Why the heck would you stay in on an ice beam? Okay. Um, so. What's he gonna do now? He's gonna switch out that Politoed. Now, I don't remember at all what he brought with him last time. So... Do I still have Tyranitar? I do still have Tyranitar. My Garchomp's down. But I do have that Tyranitar. Hmm. I think I can afford to go for the Shadow Ball on wherever Politoed is right now. I'm gonna go for the Power Whip on the Kangaskhan. Um, I could go for the Trick Room. But, with the Sucker Punch that could be coming, which it does, and it's probably going to kill me, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, okay, that, there's no way I'm surviving that. I really should have thought of that before. And I did, which is kind of funny. But, um, hopefully this Power Whip hits. Yes, it does. It's probably not going to kill. Oh, wow, it does. That's very, very nice. Um... The only unfortunate thing about my Chandler going down now is that bringing my Tyranitar right now won't reset the sand, which means when he brings in his Politoed, which is... Oh, it's not right there. Okay, well, when he bring, eventually brings in his Politoed, we're not going to be able to survive that. Um, so... Hmm. The Ice Beam is very, not the Ice Beam, uh, the Overheat is very, very obvious from that Rotom Heat. Um, and the Water Move is very, very, very obvious from that Kingdra. But I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse Power Whip against the Kingdra. Um, damn it! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, that, well, that sucks. Um, honestly, my Ferrothorn wouldn't have been able to get a move off anyway. But that's less damage on the King Drum. Oh well. Oh well. I'm still so new to, to uh, doubles that I honestly forget about Protect sometimes. And it's not the greatest thing in the world. But. At least it's a learning lesson. You know, it's a lesson to be learned. Um, even if it was just. Even if we killed the Rotom and the Kingdra right there. Um, I mean, we didn't target the Rotom. But even if they went back down. Tarantar v Politoed in the, in the rain wouldn't have possibly won that. So I'm going to go for the Protect because Sand isn't going to hurt me. And you know what? It can't hurt. But he switches in the Politoed, of course. <laughs> so, whatever. Um, there's, there's no way we can win this. Um, the Politoed was basically our defeat right there. So, that's fine. That ah, it really is fine. So I'm just gonna go for the Dark Pulse against the Politoed. Why not? <laughs> does it really matter? The Scalding the Chaos. If it doesn't, I'd be really surprised. And it does. And it does. It's fine. It's fine. I think our strategy from now on is to take the opponent a little bit more, you know, one step at a time. <laughs> you don't want to approach an opponent opponent without. A clear goal as to what they're gonna do so I'm not gonna save that as a battle video but we're gonna continue it's only been nine and a half minutes so let's continue battling I like to get two battles in every time and we're gonna keep using the team now I hate to say this but I haven't been using like, shuckle very much um <sighs> the thing about shuckle is against normal matchups, it's fine, because no one really expects what Chuckle's gonna do.
but VGC format when you get into the finals, not saying that I'm gonna, I'm guaranteed to go into the finals, we don't know that, but it's best two out of three. Now, if you know what my shuckle does, it's very easy to counter. If you don't know what it does, it's, it takes a little bit more thinking. But let's look at, let's concentrate on this battle for a second and figure out what's gonna happen. So he's got the Garchomp, Talonflame, Machamp, Greninja, most likely Mega Pinsir, and Magnazone. Now, looking at my team, his Machamp is a very strong opponent. So, he's probably going to start with either Machamp and Pinsir, or Machamp and Talonflame. So because of that, I'm going to start with Aromatis and Shuckle. Um, I'm going to bring in Shuckle, uh, Chandelure into the back, because it really does help with most of his team. Um, and... Ferrothorn because that Greninja scares me. Now I'm not gonna say this is the best choices. Greninja is really hard to play around. It its sets are usually pretty standard, but it hits so hard that most things that can counter it have a difficulty countering it. So we'll see who he starts off with. We see this is what I'm talking about. We started with Aromatius and Truckle, the two slowest things on the field. And he starts off with the Talonflame and Greninja clearly faster than us. So, I don't know if that rumor about whoever sends out first or faster is true. So, looking at his team, he's most likely going to Brave Bird the Aromatis and most likely going to Hydro Pump the Shuckle. Or Scald, or Surf, or whatever water move he has. Um, he might taunt us, but joke's on him, we have Aromatis. So, what I think I'm gonna do, and I just punched my desk, which is fine. I think I'm gonna set up Trick Room with Aromatis. I think I can survive a Brave Bird. Um, I can most likely survive a Flare Blitz. And I'm actually gonna switch out Shuckle for my Ferrothorn. Expecting that water move. Now, if he expects that and goes for a fire move, well... He's a much better player for a- What?! Did I, like, misclick? I probably misclicked. Uh, Waterfall. Okay. Physical Greninja. Interesting, to say the least. Uh, I most likely misclicked. Uh, which might not be that... I hit Rest. Oh, man. I thought I hit... Pokemon. <sighs> that honestly sucks. But, <laughs> to be quite honest, that actually is not the worst thing I could have done. Um, switching in Ferrothorn would have given him more damage, but I'm going to do that right now, to be quite honest with you. And, um, I'm going to keep my, uh, I'm going to go for the Aromatherapy to wake up my Shuckle. I'm going to be switching in my Ferrothorn. Um, he's probably going to go for the Waterfall again. That's the best move. I'm kind of a little flustered as to why I hit Rest. Um, to be quite honest, I thought I hit Pokemon. I might have made a mistake here and there. It's completely fine. Uh, it hasn't been a game-breaking move yet. I mean, I do have Aromatherapy. My Shuckle's now awake. And most likely, he went for Waterfall again. So I really don't care. Um, but that's a, that Night Slash. What? Dude. Who are you Night Slashing? Aromatis. The one that resists it. Yeah, okay. If he has Water Shuriken, good luck. Um, and I'm going to go for the Power Whip, just in case, to kill that Greninja. Because he's probably going to Brave... Oh, he doesn't Brave Bird me? What? Moonblast is most likely going to KO. It doesn't. Wow. Focus Ash? Well, the Greninja is gone. Something that really does truly scare me. Um, with He's probably one for... He probably went for fire, Flare Blitz. Uh, to be, yeah, there you go. Flare Blitz. I think I can survive that. I can't survive that. <laughs> oh, man. But Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet are going to do enough damage to kind of sort of like I attacked. Because he resists most of my stabs. Um, hmm. My Aromatisse isn't very healthy right now. A Brave Bird most likely will kill me. I'm gonna bring in Chandelure right now. I don't really know what he has, and this might be the best switch that I have. Magnazone, all right, sweet. Uh, um, I'm still in Trick Room, so I'm gonna actually switch out into Shuckle 
because I don't want my aromatis to die just yet. Um, the flamethrower or heat wave is very, very, very obvious. Um, the question is, is he going to predict that? His Greninja is gone. I don't remember him having any other fire resists, and I am max special attack with modest. So no matter what he switches in, this thing's gonna get hurt. So I went for it anyway. Let's hope that was a good move. I kind of assumed he was gonna brave burn my aromatis because it's low enough health. He goes for the roost, that's fine. I really, really, really don't care. Um He doesn't switch out, so he's oh, he's sturdy probably, right? He's not sturdy. What? Who? Why would you stay in on that? That's such an obvious play. It's not like the first turn where you don't make predictions. It's like, what, the fifth or sixth turn? Oh well. Um, I'm sure I can survive a Talonflame Brave Bird. He goes for the Machamp. Hmm. I can switch in my Aromatisse, but Aromatisse might die. I could. I'm gonna Shell Smash. Um, and I'm gonna. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> I'm gonna Shadow Ball the Talon Flame. Should I? Flamethrower might not kill Machamp, but Shadow Ball might kill Talon Flame from where it is. I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball because. I think, I think, I think, I think I can handle Machamp. I don't know if I can handle Talonflame. Okay. So I survived that attack. I use Shell Smash. So right now I'm in a pretty decent position. He can confuse me, but my attack is like basically zero, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, my If I attack myself, it would do like one damage. He does go for the dynamic punch, like I kind of figured. Um, but I did get that shell smash off, so it's kind of a good spot. Um, after that Brave Bird and the Shadow Ball, he should go down. Thankfully, he does. Um, if Trick Room doesn't go over yet... Okay, Trick Room does go over. <sighs> Wait! My Chandelier is faster than his, his Machamp. I'm going to get another shell smash off. And I'm going to go for a Flamethrower. I'm faster than his Machamp. Yes! Okay, sweet. It's not gonna kill him. It really isn't. And oh, he has the, the dang citrus. Um, what's he gonna do? Stone Edge. Oh, man. Ooh, that's gonna kill me. Okay, that's gonna kill me. That's gonna kill me. That's fine. That's fine. Um, please. Oh, well, even if I did hurt myself. Okay, Shell Smash again. Now I'm gonna bring out my Aromatis. Question is, is am I fast enough to outspeed this Machamp? Judging by how slow it was, it's probably built to outspeed most things in Trick Room. So my Moonblast should KO it. Um, just in case, I'm gonna go for the Infestation on it. I don't want to Toxic it, just in case it's Guts. But I'm gonna Moonblast it. Um, I'm only at 99 HP, so I'm and it's Stab didn't do much damage to me. Um, it does have the Stone Edge, which is super effective against me, which is why I don't really want to status it. Um, if I do status it and it's Guts, it's going to kill me. If I don't status it and it's Guts, it's not going to do as much damage. So we'll see how much this thing does. Let's see if we even outspeed. I'm only at 63. It does Stone Edge. Please go for the Shuckle. It doesn't go for the Shuckle. And we don't survive. Drat. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're still at plus two. Don't hurt yourself, Shuckle. I have faith in you. Okay, that's fine. But as you saw, it literally did one damage. So it's just Shuckle against Machamp. Uh, he has that Stone Edge, which is gonna hurt. I'm not gonna even lie. He goes for Power Up Punch. Hmm. So now, technically speaking, we're at plus one. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, he's already down at around... Looking at his HP, I want to say a quarter. Uh, right now it's under half. So I'm going to hit that rest, and that should be enough to win us the game. He goes for the dynamic punch, we're already confused, it's not like swagger. Um, I went for the rest, just in case, you never know. 
Uh, I just want to be safe here. It's not really worth it to be risky right now. Um, there's always a chance that Stonehenge will crit. There's always a chance that this will happen. There's always a chance that well, that will happen. I'm going to go for the rest again. Um, he doesn't know we have rest yet. Oh, no, he knows we did rest. We did that like the first turn because of a stupid uh, misclick. <laughs> but um, hopefully we can get through this, and that will be the end. It's, it's Wow, it's already been 20 minutes. Wow. And that number right there, Pokemon Attained 130, is a complete lie. I don't know why it still has that. And I don't know why he still keeps going for the dynamic punches. Snapped out of his confusion. Used rest. So we're on the way to victory. Um, he's not doing enough damage to really kill us. He hasn't gone for the Stone Edge. And I'm pretty sure Stone Edge will do a lot more to us. Um, but I think after this next turn, he is dead. So I'm going to go for the Toxic. Just to speed up the price process. I like to expedite things. He finally goes for the Stone Edge and my fridge just turns on. But it doesn't do enough damage. Had he gone for that before, he would have won, but he hadn't. And at this point, we're in a spot where we win. So, yes, Shuckle pulls through, much like Ferrothorn did the other day. So I'm very happy. Um, I'm very proud of this team that I made. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is literally the first team that I made with some minor adjustment adjustments. Um, it's the first VGC match I ever really not match, a uh, team, that I really had, so I'm kind of proud about how well it came out. Um, I don't know if that's an achievement, or I'm just a decent uh, team builder. I, I kind of like to think that I'm a good team builder. But, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I, I don't know if you guys really do know that I really do appreciate it. Um, I try to comment on everyone's comments. And um, if I don't, please tell me. I, you know, I wanna, I wanna make you guys feel part of the community that I'm a part of. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. It's like almost 1 a.m., but I'm sleeping in tomorrow. It's a Sunday. I don't really care. So uh, have a great night, morning, day, whatever. I haven't done that in a while, have I? And uh, I hope to see you guys at the next video. Peace.